Here is a somewhat common photography issue. I have here a snapshot that I want to use, but I feel that the statues in the photograph do not stand out enough from the background. Photoshop has several tools that can help us adjust this, and one of the easiest methods is to use a layer mask. Layer masks are resolution dependent bitmap images that can be used to hide or reveal portions of the layers below it. Layer masks are created and edited using the painting and selection tools. To accomplish the look we want, the first thing we need to do is duplicate our layer. This will enable us to apply a mask to our duplicate layer, allowing changes to our underlying layer to be visible only in areas that we select. Select your duplicated layer and apply a mask by clicking the Add Layer Mask button in the Layers pane, or by going to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All. Now, with our mask selected, indicated by the selection brackets, we can edit our mask. Since our layers are duplicates of one another, editing the mask will not have visual results unless we disable our base layer, at which the areas revealed by our mask will appear transparent. Any painting or selection tool can be used to edit the mask. Some methods are faster and others are more effective, but getting to use all of the methods and using a combination of techniques will inevitably give you the best results. I like to start by using broad strokes from a paintbrush to eliminate large areas from my mask. Since painting a mask with black is what allows us to reveal what lies beneath it, make sure that your foreground color is set to black. Erasing or painting with white, in contrast, will return portions of your mask image, and painting with gray will result in a semi-transparency. Another great way to edit a mask is by using the selection tools. For instance, the Quick Select tool can be used to select large areas of similar content that can then be filled with black. Finally, once your mask is largely finished, it can be fine-tuned by going to the Masks pane and using the Feather Slider, or, even more intuitive, Refine Masks dialog box. With your mask in place, adjustments and edits can now be made to the underlying layer that will be visible without affecting the masked-off sections of your image.